problems with the audio and this is okay. Um, I might need to get a little microphone for the uh, phone camera thing. Anyways, um, it's been a hot minute since I've done a face video. So I thought I would maybe do an update video and then like four or five tag videos that I've seen going around. Well, some of these are old that I wrote down and I never did. Um, others are just um, new. They all look fun, so I figured I would uh, maybe try. So I think maybe this one will be the update video. And I don't know if this one will go up first. Basically, I'm trying to have a um, upload schedule of Wednesday and Sunday so that there's a video on the weekend and a video on during the week. It's a little hard because I'm trying, one, to overcome a brand new uh, work schedule with my fiance, so, um, and then incorporating my daughter's uh, online schooling and making sure that I can still work on stuff for the shop, so, um, and get the projects and stuff done that I want to do. It's, uh, it's a process. I also need to remember to look over at the camera and not at myself. But I don't, it's, I'm, I'm working on it. Maybe I'll just stare at the doorknob because it's kind of in that vicinity. There are no dolls behind me. I apologize for that. I am reworking my doll area in our bedroom. Um, I'm downsizing resin, focusing probably more on my vinyl dolls, which I will introduce in a moment. Um, yeah, so, there's a lot going on. I'm waiting to see if my stream vibes music is gonna switch to Spotify commercial. Or just stop altogether. Oh well. Anyway, okay, so um, technically, I should probably introduce the Dolphy Dream again, which is Lyric. Um, she is mostly. What is going on? Like it stopped, or maybe it's just recording. Anyway, so, I got her a new head, which is a DH06 I found on um, Dolly Terria, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a really good deal. Bought it, it got here in like a mm, week, two weeks maybe. Um, I was actually really surprised that shipping was not more expensive, um, which is a good thing. Um, it's kind of the only thing I wanted from there, but it, it's good to know that there's an option. Um, there's a lot of dolls on there, a lot of really good deals. So, um, and it was saying that she was discolored, but she matches the body I bought on Den of Angels perfectly. So maybe they're both just discolored the same. But I did her face up, and I filmed that. It wasn't great, um, but it was fun. Uh, something I've never done before, and hopefully I can do it again. Uh, it is kind of fun to like watch your process through. Like, cause I I see it from one angle. I don't know what everybody else sees it as. So watching it back as I do it was kind of interesting to me. I don't know if anybody else liked it, but it was fun for me. Um, I've also been using her as my sewing video model for the socks and the skirt that I did. Um, that's a little harder for me. 
because I don't feel confident enough to teach people what I'm doing and I'm almost positive that how I'm doing it is probably wrong. Um, but I get a lot of people that do ask me how I, how I sew by hand, how I manage to do everything by hand. Well, I figure out the only way to really show that is to record it. Um, I'm obviously not going to record everything that I sew because that's that's a lot of it's a lot of stuff in the shop. But um, yeah, um, I did get the Argonautica Argonautica Melee Plus One Fourth in. Um, I was pretty disappointed with the whole experience, so I probably will not be buying any of any of the dolls from them again. Um, she has some flaws. Her head is... I have issues with it. Um, I've seen... I've seen other types of dolls that are cast better, so... Um, I think I might just get her different head, probably from uh, Dragon Shell Doll, which is Deacon and Cade's head, it's a DS doll. Uh, I love Marina, I love her work. Her cat head, when it releases an MSD, is going to be perfect. Um, the Deep Normal matches the uh, Argonautica doll almond skin pretty dang perfect, because Deacon's head is in Dark Normal, and I compared it to her body. I'm She's in the diorama right here, I'm looking at her, but... Um, I just, uh, the eye openings are uneven, one part is jagged, there's loss of detail in the lips. Um, I'm not really bothered by seam lines, she has a few. Um, Birdie, my Lemois Sujan, Sujan, I always say that wrong, she has some pretty gnarly seam lines, but she's a tan doll. Um, and while Melee is not as dark as the Almond, she has seam lines. I mean, even Fairyland has seam lines sometimes. I think my Resin Soul tan girl had seam lines too, so I'm not, not terribly bothered. Um, so I'll probably, I don't know if I want to sell that head, or if I just want to keep it. Um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, but when Cat, when the DS doll Cat head releases, I will definitely be investing in that. Um, I am, however, selling Deacon's head. Um, mostly because I don't have a body for him anymore. I'm not really fond of the Eiffel House. J.I.D. I got, I think it's a J.I.D. It's the muscular body, not the model one. I bought it secondhand off of Den of Angels and I wasn't really upset about the resin match because the body's from 2009, so it's it's a little old. But um, pardon the uh, small cut for ad. Um, but yeah, I just um, I don't think I'll get him a body. I just can't find one that I like. Um, Cade's on a Dolce Fashion Maxi. I think it was the body. I don't remember who it was released with now. I know it's the L1 Pose body, but he doesn't have the, um, it's like the, I think, yeah, that's the L1. It's the base, most basic one. He doesn't even have uh, the swivel joint in the thigh. That I bought secondhand. I think it was on Instagram. Might have been on Flickr, I can't remember. Um, but that body works for his head. I, I'm not gonna buy another one because it is a little temperamental. Um, and I'm definitely not gonna buy one from Dolce. So, um, but I actually think my resin crew is probably going to remain two dolls. Um, I do kind of want the Petite Gem Julia that they are releasing right now. 
Um, so if I can maybe sell his head and sell a few other things, I might buy that. Because I do have the Lori doll camper that I customized a few years back. And I've been looking for a small doll to fit in it. It's a... Uh, I think it's about 11 centimeters and Julia's about 13 centimeters. So she's a little bigger, but yeah. And I'm kind of obsessed with poodles now. Owls and poodles. I don't know what my thing is, but there you have it. Um, what else? Yeah, so two resin dolls. I'm up to three. SD vinyl dolls. Um, I didn't do a box opening or anything for the other one that I bought because I was kind of feeling sick and super excited at the same time. Um, so yeah. But I guess I should actually like do doll things now because I don't think I have any more major updates other than the shop is now going to transition into SD clothes. All the MSD clothes that are in there will probably not come back. Ooh, it's me. Um, mostly because I don't, I'm not really, I haven't enjoyed sewing for them. Sewing for them is a little more tedious than the bigger girls. And I use more materials and it takes a little longer for the bigger girls, but it's just, it's really enjoyable. So, First is first. We'll do Lyric. She is my Dolphy Dream 3 body with the medium bust that I bought from um, Vault. So the body came from Den of Angels. The bust came from Vault. The head came from Dolly Cheria. Um, face up, eyes, wig. Clothes are from me. The shoes are from Etsy. I will link that in the description because I can't remember the shop name right now. But I saw these before I bought her and I favorited them because they're super cute and I've always wanted a doll to wear these kinds of shoes. They've got little zippers, but I really love the, the wedgie platforms, which I would totally wear myself. Um, and... I favorited them before I even actually bought her, even before I bought the body, um, thinking someday I would have an SD. And like, two weeks later, here she is. So, um, hope this skirt doesn't stain, I didn't get a chance to wash it first, but, um, yeah, so, I'll pack a wig, because none of the wigs I was buying um, on like Amazon and eBay and um, I bought a couple uh, Leak World wigs that I wasn't impressed with. Um, I got one with my second smart doll from Studio Miscast who is who I bought her from on Instagram. Um, I'll grab her in a second. Um, so they just weren't working and that was kind of my problem with the MSD too is I either couldn't find the styles that I wanted in the MSD size or the colors so I started making alpaca wigs for my MSD dolls all of my dolls that are my dolls have alpaca wigs Cade, Birdie, Arizona Arizona doesn't have the right head so there's another face up or a wig yet because I'm not going to waste the materials and that's just me so, she is mostly done. Uh, she'll probably be the one that I use in videos um, well, as like my sewing model, like with the skirt and the socks, provided I come up with anything else to sew. Um, I know a lot of people have Dolphy Dreams. Her hips are a little bit bigger than the Smart Dolls, and her shoulders are wider, but other than that, she pretty much fits everything they do. I mean, the shirt pattern I have here is for Smart Doll. I altered it, but it's for Smart Doll. So we'll put her back and grab Pavilia. So that's Lyric and Pavilia, 
who you saw me do a box opening for, which is my smart doll, Athena. Um, yes, I did do her wig. It is not perfect. But I'm kind of okay with the imperfections in it. It's it, The dye didn't take the alpaca like it should have, and I didn't wash it when I got it, which probably means that the person I bought it from, when she sheared it off the animal, um, probably washed it before packaging it up and sending it out, which they do. And again, uh, eyes, wig, and clothes are from me. So I bought this little swatch from Spoonflower and it's bats, it's galaxy bats, because Pavelia is a bat. Um, she has the follow me eyes that I made. I actually posted those on Instagram and I made a whole batch of them, which is why all the girls have them. So pants are by me as well. This was my second attempt at making the smart doll jeans. Oh, shoes are from uh, Fabric Friends and Dolls. They're just little low top sneakers in purple. Um, and her wig is actually thinner than the other two because I actually didn't have room to buy um, longer alpaca. Lyric and Mackenzie, their wigs are okay to be short, but Pavelia is actually based on a character I've had since 98, 99. Um, so she kind of needed to have a longer purple wig and it's, it's long, it goes to her butt. You can see where the dye didn't take, but I actually kind of like the way that it's multicolored unintentionally. Um, I'm not the greatest at sewing, but at cutting bangs, so it's not uh, it's not perfect, but I love her so much. She is <sighs> amazing. Um, now all three dolls are actually characters that I have had and drawn for years. Lyric's character was actually given to me by a friend a very long time ago in a uh, art trade, so um, I. Uh, They're all near and dear. And Mackenzie, that character's been around a while, since before my daughter was born, so at least, at least 2002, 2003. Um, now I did used to draw um, anthropomorphic characters, so they each had a different species, like Pavelia was a raccoon. Mackenzie was a fox, and Lyric, when she was given to me, is a uh, griffin. Um, I did commission ear parts for Pavelia and Mac um, from Synthetic Ephemera. Um, Poe is going to have bat ears, and Mac is going to have little owl feather tuft horn parts, I guess. I don't know how you want to call it. Um, so, but for the most part, other than the hair, the hair's a little darker than I used to color it, but now, no, oh, she doesn't want to stand. Mac. So, Mac is a smart doll clarity, and I bought her from Studio Miscast. Again, eyes, wig, clothes, by me. Shoes are once again from Fabric Friends. Um, I am not the like most amazing wig maker um but I have to say I, I'm really really happy with how Poe and Max wigs came out the lyrics could be better but I did nothing to that fiber before basically gluing it on the wig cap um why does this not want to play oh it is It's just very quiet. Anyway, let's change that. Hopefully you can hear that. Anyway. Um, but yeah. 
she is the smart doll clothing model for the shop now which the shirt and shorts are what I have been making lately so some blue pearlescent hot pants and this amazing drip fabric that I got from Spoonflower um, she did get a complete outfit as well uh, jean pants and another shirt with uh, d20s well actually just dice on it so hers was like done some Dungeons and Dragons because uh, my fiance and I are huge nerds we played D&D &D and Magic the Gathering because we love it um, but yeah I love her so much and originally I was going to buy a Melody because it was the closest I could get to how I used to draw Mackenzie's face and then Studio Miscast, uh, Brett put Clarity up for sale and I I jumped on it. She was a little more than I was looking to spend on a doll but this face was absolutely perfect. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna hold on to her for a little bit. Um, but other than the sewing projects and stuff, trying to get YouTube going, um, I've been working on a Monster High custom for the fiance of one of, well, actually, they're both my favorite streamers on YouTube, but, um, Tag Mac TV, his fiance, Sideshow Ashley. Um, the community calls her Chaos Daddy, so, um, because that's what she is. She is, she is chaos, but we love it. Um, so I decided I was going to customize a Monster High doll I had laying around for, for her, and then send it off. Um, I did film the wig. It is, again, not the best. I'm not very good at filming, um, yet. I kind of have to figure out my setup. I'm still working on this whole setup, so, um, bear with me. Uh, but I'm hoping that the wind dies down and I can actually film the face-up part before I send her off. I did end up making the clothes, like, months back, so I don't have that to film. But I do have other, uh, stock dolls that I would like to customize and, and um, I don't know what I'll do with them, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll stick them up in the shop. I don't know. Um, but I the alpaca that I got for these wigs, except for pose, what is like two pounds, three pounds of alpaca. So I have a lot. And on these dolls, it's not very long, but on like a monster high head, it'll be it'll be plenty long. Um, so, and I might have to buy some, like, shoes from eBay or something or Amazon to, uh, to customize and use. But other than that, um, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back into that little aspect of the hobby, especially now that I'm trying to make a better go of, uh, of YouTube. I'm trying to be more active. It's really hard because um, I'm really not a social person, but these last couple weeks getting these videos edited and up, especially now that I have a nice editing program, which is PowerDirector. Um, it's on um, iOS and Android, and it's I pay the four bucks a month um, for the uh, to not have the watermark. Um, and I love it. It is well worth it. So um, and I do all the editing on my galaxy tab so it's helpful i can sit and like watch mortal Kombat while i'm editing so um that's really fun hopefully my next purchase i think might be a little microphone for the for the phone because i do all my recording from my phone i don't have a i have a sony but it's an alpha 350 and that's really old it doesn't take video and, it, like, it takes pictures just fine, so I don't really see the point in upgrading to a phone or a camera that does, um, video. Especially when my, my phone does 
pretty well. It's just a little quiet. Maybe I just don't project. Maybe that's my problem. I'm really soft-spoken anyway, so... I don't know. Um, I was trying to keep this under 30 minutes, but I don't think it's going to be. This one might be going up tomorrow, and then the tags will go up um, you know, Wednesday and Sunday, however long. Um, I'm really hoping I can get the face-up video done and edited and up on Wednesday this week, but I don't know if the weather's going to let me. So, if not, you'll see another tag video which I have like six tags written down from recent to like years. So um, if there's anything else that anybody wants to see, um, even if it's just like me going through the motions of like sewing for the shop and recording it, because I mean, I, I use patterns that Danny Chu put out for free. Um, I do edit them a little bit because I don't really like the everything about them. I have a specific style when I'm, I'm looking for pants and clothes, so, but I think everybody does that. Um, but other than that, um, what, you know, you want me to do, um, like, character videos or, I don't know, more, like, a wig video? I mean, the wig video I did for the Monster High is basically the same as Alpaca. There's only, like, Two more steps to an alpaca wig than a uh, yarn wig instead of brushing out and then going straight to straightening. I usually brush out, wash, brush out again, straighten. Unless you're going to color it and then you don't wash it because you want the color to take through the fiber. And washing and conditioning it, it won't. Um, thanks mom. <laughs> Went to beauty school so it's helpful. Which, this didn't take the brown like it should have. It should be dark brown, like my hair. But, I actually think it works. And her eyes are orange. I actually have a bunch of these made. I might have to buy another doll. I did just convince my fiancé that the Kabuki is really cool and I should get her. Maybe we will. Anyway, I have been watching everyone's videos. I've actually been watching a lot more people. Um, I started following My Lady Disdain and Magical Girl Kit Kat Gaming and one more. I follow I'm following one more that does smart doll videos. Mm, I don't remember who it is. But um, I'm so happy with how this shirt turned out. I got a new iron, which I don't know where I put it, but it makes all the difference when you're sewing doll clothes, being able to iron that neckline flat yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and um i'll see you in the next one